Okay guys, so we're going to make a new video and I tried to make you guys a video, a step-by-step, -step, but it just was not working out. I was not going to sit there forever and wait for that stuff to load. So I'm just going to do one that's all together. Now what I'm doing is taking my alcohol ink. This is actually just alcohol, and then I have cleaned my brush in it, and uh, it's blues and greens combined. Um, got our San Santorini, and now I'm just going to go ahead and start making my background. This is the way I do it. You guys do what you want to do. Whatever colors you want. This is uh, Tim Holtz Aqua. And then I'm going to use the Tim Holtz or Ranger, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is denim. So I just get that all on there and then I start dabbing dabbing all around the rock this is going to um, kind of get lighter as I'm going and I may want to do it a little bit lighter need a little bit more alcohol here to get all the sides done And I'm just going to keep on dabbing. You can go back and fix that with whatever color you want. Alright, so I think I'm going to do a little bit more of this aqua. And the reason why I keep dabbing it is because I want to get all of these, see these rings that are around the color? I want to get all of those out. So I'm just going to, where it just blends all the way through. Blends. Wonderful. So. Now I have blues, all different colors of blues, um, just with two colors, the denim and the aqua. Now I'm going to do my ground. I'm going to use the Tim Holtz Pebble. The reason why I'm using these colors is because I like these colors. They're a lot thinner. The pinata, yes, they're brighter, and I, I do use those sometimes, but I like these because they're, they're more flowing, I guess you could say. So this I'm just taking and going around getting all my white covered up. I do this with all of my stuff because I like my sides to be finished. All right, now the ground is not going to totally stay brown. It's got a little bit of green in it. So I'm taking my citrus, Tim Holtz citrus and I'm putting a little bit of green onto my ground. And I'm working pretty fast because this stuff dries so quickly. Okay, I'll make sure my sides are done. And they are. It's pretty dry. Normally, I would um, 
let this dry overnight and let the alcohol finish everything it's going to do. Um, if it's going to spread out or, or whatever. But we don't have time for that today, so we're not going to do that today. Okay, next, moving forward, I'm going to now put my design on. I'm using the Deco Art Winter Blue. This color is an opaque color, meaning it's not going to let anything uh, come through. So if it's red or pink, it will certainly come through. Um, if it is this blue and green, it's not really going to let it come through, which is okay. That's what we want. We don't want it coming through. If I did this just in white, it would bleed through. Doesn't matter what color. So I'm going to put on my winter blue cactus. And I'm going to make another cactus here. And maybe one here. So, um, normally I would turn the video off and let this dry. But instead, I'm just going to go ahead and make some of our other things that are going to go on here while that dries. Like this cute little vine here. This is going to be a fairly fast video because I think you guys are, are going to have a lot more fun embellishing this yourself. Um, this is going to be the moon because this is a nighttime cactus scene with the dark blue sky. Okay, so that looks pretty, pretty dry. Um, another thing you may want to add is maybe a couple of little rocks. And you can like make your gravel later on. But I don't know, I just, the more stuff that's on here, it makes it more interesting to look at to me. Okay. So that's what we have so far. Um, it doesn't look like anything is going to come through here. So I'm going to go ahead and add my white. <clears throat> this is just, um, just white acrylic. Um, this is Anita's. Sometimes I use uh, Craft Smart uh, from Michaels. This one I just picked up. I like to get a white that is kind of uh, thick and I can get it, water it down if I need to. I like it when it has, you know, really good coverage. So, here's our first cactus. Go ahead and do our second one. I was working on the other video 
for a little while. And I just got tired of trying to wait for it to download. So I'm going to go ahead and just do this other video. And hopefully this one will get downloaded to YouTube and I'll be able to download it to the page. But I'm trying not to have to, to do all that. Do all the waiting. I am so impatient. Okay, so here's our little rocks. I'm going to go ahead and paint our leaves. This almost feels like it will be a as long as a live video. <laughs> But I don't, I don't have, I don't have a way to stop and start it. So you guys are having to go through all of this with me. The other one I made different videos. They're just taking way too long. So I'm not, I'm not dealing with that. No, no. Uh, okay. So this looks pretty good. Looks like it's pretty dry. We can go ahead and now um i'm gonna add the white alcohol ink <coughs> don't even look at this bottle it, that is so yucky but you know i don't care because i don't have time to sit here and clean it every day i don't use it um a whole lot just when I'm uh, painting over, whenever I'm painting something, a lot of times I don't even use alcohol ink on what I'm painting. I just use it for the background. But on these cactus, they, they do have it. So they do take the alcohol ink, I should say. I use that. And key to this is letting this white dry. You want to let it dry. And it doesn't take long. So. I think it's always interesting to see I don't know if the video can show it, but there's some pink coming through. Although we didn't put any pink or purple on, it's pink coming through. I think in the denim color, it must have some pink in it somewhere. I guess. Um, I know some fabrics do that too. And I think denim is one that has a pink part to the fabric. Okay, so that goes back in there. And that is going to be pretty much all there is to that. And now we're going to get ready to go ahead and do our, I'm going to just clean this brush. We're going to go ahead and do our, um, green on our cactus. Um, the first color I'm going to use is Envy. This is an alcohol pearl by uh, Tim Holt Ranger. And shake that up pretty good. I use the cap. Probably not a good idea, but I do it anyway. I just love these pearls, how they just go on and Neat. All right, so just covering this up. Doesn't matter with the dress, dress brush strokes because it doesn't matter. 
It's not, you're not going to see those when it dries. It's just going to look like normal cactus. I am going to add this MV pretty green color to all of my cactus here. And then add another color on top of it. So, there's that. Um, I'm going to use Sublime. This is another alcohol pearl by Ranger. This is just going to give this cactus a little bit more color. Uh, I love to watch it work. Okay, so that's all of that, and this is um, citrus. Mm, citrus is a beautiful color, I think. Oh, some people don't like green. Green's my favorite color, so I guess that's why I'm so fond of it. You want to be careful when you put the ink on because it will explode and go everywhere. Like, see right here? But if you just take your brush and you go along the sides, everything will be all right. There. Okay, so we've got that done. All of that is going to dry, and it, again, will not take long. While that is drying, I am going to go ahead and get my daughter, very used daughter, and my pink. This is Craft Smart Acrylic. This is Neon Pink. I like to use a lot of the bright colors in my cactus paintings because I don't know they just feel happy they feel happy and if you know my art you know it's all about being happy I don't really paint any dark dark things I don't really care for dark um, on this one, now that it's dry, I am going to add, um, this is Craft Smart. This is Bahama Blue. You can get Craft Smart. It's a Michaels brand. I'm going to do these blue dots on this one. Okay, I'm going to let those dry. Next, I am going to use um, Hauser Dark Green. This is Deco Art Americana, whichever one you want to say. I used to call it Americana. And now I say Deco Art because I hear it all the time. Deco Art. It's Deco Art. It's not Americana. Well, it's both, really. So, okay. This is the Hauser Dark Green. This is very dark. 
but it's going to look good on our cactus. So I am just going to paint my little X's or whatever you want to call them. Cactus prickly things. And they're just going to go like that. We're not done with it, but it's good for now. Okay. Now, at this point, I want to go ahead and embellish around my pink dots. So I'm going to do that. And this is Citron Green. One of my favorite colors of all the colors because it's bright. See how this just makes the pink pop out? It makes it really pretty. And I think on um, the blue, I'm going to do, this is Wild Orchid. And by the way, I am using, um, this is a liner brush. And it's super thin. Some people cut theirs. I have cut mine before or I've used one of my cat whiskers. Uh, I've gotten some stuff out of, uh, you know, like a brush bristle. I mean, I've used all kinds of stuff to make thin lines. Really, just whatever you have it on hand works. So now we've got the purple on there as well. I'm not going to be using any more of that purple. Um, okay, since I'm going, trying to go fast, this is the Liquid Pearls. I use this on just about every one of my paintings that's bright and pretty. Um, I like it. I think it just really makes things pop and stand out. On this, I'm just taking and going over the green little X's because I want the green to show up, but I want the pink to show up too. I'm just defining underneath so you can kind of see a definite difference but still pretty see that okay so while I have that out um, this is where I would go ahead and this is uh, Americana or deco art Hauser light green and I'm going to go ahead and do my stem here, like that. While that is drying, before I do my leaves, I'm going to go ahead and take my winter blue again, because I've now decided I think I want to do maybe some flowers. So I'm going to take my flowers with this winter blue and I'm telling you again why we use this underneath is so that that alcohol ink won't come through. And I don't think we need a whole lot. So, I'm going to leave the middle one open with no flower. 
Um, okay, so now the flowers are going to dry. And I'm going to paint this part. This is with the um, liquid pearl. And to be quite honest, um, this stuff is really shimmery. You don't have to use it. If you want to build it up, you can. What I mean by build it up, if you want to make some texture. I'm not really going to make a lot of texture on this one. Some of my bigger pieces I do, but this one I'm just, I'm not going to do that. So we want to finish these leaves. And this, by the way, is hydrangea pink is the color of it. And at some point you will want to put a second coat on here because this is super thin until you build it up. I'm doing thin right now. Just trying to get it done so we can move on to the next process. This is a lot of steps involved in this. There's a lot of layering, so you want to try to get it as smooth as you can. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use melon and cherry red for my flowers, but I do need to put a white base on first so that my colors come through good. My colors are going to come through true over white. They're not going to be so true over this winter blue. Oh, and I've got a little bit of pink in there. Not cleaning my brush good. That's okay. All right. I wish I could just slow this down a little bit for you guys, but I'm trying to hurry with let you know letting you all not be bored. You can stop this. You'll be able to stop and start this video if you want to, so that you can see. I just really wanted to do a step by step for you guys, but eh, you'll get it. I think the more videos that we have, the more you'll get how I'm doing this. Okay, so we've got the base coat of that. And you can add whatever kind of flower you want on here, but just make sure that you do that winter blue first. <laughs> These flowers are so bad looking. <laughs> but we're trying to do this in a fast way. Okay, so. Let's do one more thing. Gonna let that dry, and then I'll add a little bit of uh, yellow to it. Okay, so now that our flowers are on, um, we're gonna go ahead and do our some of our other embellishments um, using the Hauser Dark Green. I'm gonna show you how I get my grass mm, 
and it's not hard to do. You just make sure you have the right uh, paintbrush is the whole thing. And like I said, I use this fine liner brush for just about everything. Now I'm going to go through with my Hauser Light Green again and do this. If you're wanting something to be perfect, you could sit here for a while until it looks like what you want it to look like. Me, I'm not going for perfect right now. I'm going to show you guys just how to basically get your background on and a little bit of painting. Okay, so that looks pretty. I think next um, we'll go ahead and do the white for our moon because we're going to add a uh, different color colors to the moon you don't have to do it like this this is the way I like to do it because I think the more color the better but I like a lot of color so oops got a little paint bugger in there You can make this as colorful or as subtle as you want. Um, while that dries, I'm going to go ahead and do my rocks. Lots and lots of layering, guys. Um, I layer just about everything. I like there to be I like your eye to to go to all the textures and 